With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students. In this question, it is given that a sum of rupees 1000 is invested at 8% simple interest per year. Okay. And we have to calculate the interest at the end of each year. And also we have to check whether these interest forming an AP. If so, we have to find the interest at the end of 30 years. Okay. So first of all, we know that the formula of simple interest is equal to P into R into T by 100. Here P is the principal, R is the rate and T is the time. And in the question it is given that P is equal to 1000 and R is equal to 8%. Okay. Now for the first year, SI will be equal to 1000 into 8 into 1 upon 100 and on solving this we get this 100 will be cancelled to this so we get 80. Similarly for the second year SI will be equal to 1000 into 8 and for the second year the time will be 2 year upon 100 will be equal to 100 and 100 will be cancelled and we get 8 into 2 that is 16 into 10 that is 160. Similarly for the third year SI will be equal to 1000 into 8 and for this and for the third year the time will be 3 year upon 100 equal to 100 on, and on solving this we get 100 and 100 will be cancelled so this will be 8 into 3 that is 24 into 10 so it will be 240 therefore the interest at the end of first year second year and third year and so on is fair is forming and series is forming a series now we have to check whether this series is forming an ap or not so to do this we have to find out the common difference between the two consecutive term so the common difference between second and the first term is 160 minus 80 that is equal to 80 similarly the common difference between the third term and the second term is 240 minus 160 that is equal to 80 here we notice here we notice that the common difference is same hence this is proved that this series is forming an AP and the common difference of this series will be D equal to 80 and the first term will be also 80. Now by using this AP we have to find the interest at the end of 30 years. So we have A equal to 80, D equal to 80 and N equal to 30. Okay. Now we know that the nth term of an AP is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Now on putting this value in this formula we get a 30 equal to a which is 80 plus n which is 30 minus 1 into d. Here d is 80. So a 30 will be equal to 80 plus on solving this we get 30 into 80 minus 80. So this minus this 80 and minus 80 will be cancelled and we get 30 into 80 will be 2400. We have calculated A30 equal to 2400. So the interest at the end of 30 years is equal to 2400 rupees. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.